Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's go take on the seventh and final scenario at Las Vegas against UFOs. I guess they escaped from Area 51. Flying objects of unusual size? I don't think they exist. But yeah, they actually tell you the objective of the scenario. Just get up to a metropolis by the time we're done. That's all you need to do. If you can survive long enough. Okay, so first things first, as usual, let's cut power to the airport around here. Might have a flight risk. I don't need flying objects in addition to unidentified flying objects trying to kill me. So yeah, just disconnect power there before anything happens. The police department is not necessary there. As you can see, there's Nothing around here. Not much. Then get that going. We're good to go. Okay, so now, let's start up here. Take a look around a little bit. Yeah, things are kind of haphazardly thrown around here. We've got, I think, seven casinos in the city there. Yeah, and they provide a lot of special income. But you don't have access to earning other gifts in this scenario, just like any other one. This is the only scenario that has any gifts whatsoever. And as you can see, there's a lot of police departments on the border of the city because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, one way or the other. They got the roads blockaded everywhere, or maybe not. But yeah, we want to get rid of a lot of those police departments. So let's start by trimming the fat around here. Let's see, with the industrial zones, they're pretty far away from anything else, but I'm just going to leave them there because they're already, well, they're already there and they can give us a little bit of a population boost. They don't care about land value or how far they are away from anything. And I'll just leave the residential zone there, even though it'll probably never develop into anything worthwhile. Sorry. But we might as well connect over to the police department. Yeah, they got a lot of police departments in this city, and a few fire departments, which I actually do want to hold on to in this scenario. Fire departments being useful? What a concept! Yeah, they're going to be really good in this scenario. Okay, so with this one... Okay, we got one tile of rail, one tile of road connecting those zones. That's all they need. Well, that uh, train is going to disappear eventually. Whoops. And then, let's see, that commercial zone will never develop. So just get rid of it. And then with this residential zone, yeah, just leave a little bit of that going there. That'll be good. And the rest of the roads to left, I'm just gonna leave alone there. But these roads, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of everything above the horizontal road because anything this far away from the middle of the city is never gonna develop. And, I mean, the roads take up the transportation budget. I don't wanna have to pay for that. I've got enough stuff to pay for as it is. But yeah, reconnect some of the the power lines there. That is one thing that's going to be very important in this scenario, managing power lines. Because things are so spread out around here that you might not notice where you're missing power until it's too late. So, do what you can to keep up with that. Let's see, this one, yeah, we can get rid of that. I'm going to keep a lot of these cross-sections of roads in this city. Because there's just a lot of traffic to go around. Let's see, we can get rid of that police department too while we're at it. So, yeah, I want to kind of dilute the traffic a little bit, though that's not extraordinarily important. What is important is getting rid of useless 
police departments that are only covering like one or two zones. Not worthwhile. They cost too much in the budget for me to want to hold on to a, a lot of them around the border of the city. Okay, then let's see. So we start with four fire departments, but I want to add some to this city. And uh, fire department mechanics work identically to police departments. They hit, you have the eight by eight grid and that'll tell you how far they cover. The difference though is that fire departments really don't require that much to have a huge impact. So I won't need nearly as many of them to get the job done as I do with police departments. And I'll go over that when the fire happens. Okay, so let's see. That's three fire departments that I've built already. These two right next to each other, they're in the same 8x8 grid. One of them is not going to survive. But we'll see. I want to get the fire department ready to go in advance. Okay, then I think that's everything inside the city there. So, yeah, let's just get rid of excess roads around here. No one's just leaving this city. Not on my watch. But, yeah, we don't need any of this stuff over here. Let's see, that's never going to develop there. Get rid of those. See, I don't need the roads here except for the police department, so we'll leave that alone. Okay, then let's see, over here... Oh, no, I was thinking up here. It's like, where do I put my next police or fire department? No, nah, no. Nah. But uh, let's get rid of that while we're at it. Maybe build another residential zone. And try to keep power, like, with backups. So, like, over here, you got the straight north-south road there. You can connect the power line over there. But, like, these curved ones, yeah, they don't work. So, just do what you can. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to worry about that later. But I do want to build a lot of extra power lines do what I can to stay ahead of things. Okay, over here. Fire department number four. Okay, so I want to build eight additional fire departments to the ones that we already have. Okay, five. Let's see, I thought there was one. Oh, no, that's further down. I thought there was another... Oh, yeah, right. Um, where are... You? Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah, right there. Let's build a fire department. Okay, so that's six there. Okay, then let's see. Okay, we got the seaport. Yeah, this police department is not going to be doing anything useful. But yeah, we do need to leave the seaport there, even though there's no water in the city. You still have that uh, level check there. So just leave it there. Yeah, kind of strange, but that's how it works. Okay, let's see. I think that's everything on this side. Yeah. Yeah, that ought to be good enough. Yeah, I don't know why they have all these excess roads around here. I mean, what do you think this is? A desert? Well, okay. Alright, then let's see around here. Now, you notice we've got, let's see, two. Two stadiums. Ah, ah, ah. But I want to hold on to both of them because... Uh, one of them might get destroyed at some point. So it'll be good to have the backup. Okay, then let's see. 
yeah, I can get rid of this for now. Okay, then around here. Okay, we've got, where is it? Fire department there. One up there. And I think that's everything for the fire departments. Yeah, yeah, okay, so there's the eight. And then, okay, so this police department I actually do want to hold on to. Well, no, no, we don't need that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, then around here, yeah, the police department's in the middle of the city. I want to hold on to, but that's about it. rid of some of the smaller cross sections we don't need all of them eventually I'm gonna build some regular zones but not right now okay then let's see over here yeah we don't need all of this excess rail it's expensive enough as it is see the residential zone doesn't need the road we got the rails to connect to it. That'll be good enough. Whoop! Get up there! There you go. Okay, then... Let's see. With that... Okay, one tile right next to it. That'll be good enough to maintain it. And then, let's see. Up here... Okay, let's get... Yeah, like a back door for the power lines around here. Yeah, lots of backup power lines. We're going to need those in this scenario. Okay, I think that's good enough there. Okay, then for this area... Okay, so I'm going to leave most of the roads that are touching zones alone. But everything else outside of that, we can get rid of if I can actually press the button. That would make that a lot faster. Just reconnect the roads, but not the power. Actually, though, well, I'll do stuff down there eventually. Okay, these I want to leave all alone. But we can do, or get rid of the ones around here at least. And just make sure you got power going to everything. Let's see, with this one... Yeah, why don't we uh, make a longer connection over there? Okay, good. Just making sure I got the roads lined up. So that everything has transportation access. Okay, then down here, yeah, the rest of this is relatively simple. There is nothing down here, so you might as well get rid of the extra roads. Yeah, too bad I can't, or what is it, indicate, like, which roads I don't want to uh, pay maintenance for. I think they're just chosen at random if you go below, like, 100% funding. I don't know, I never actually really fooled around with that, with the transportation budget. You really want to have that transportation be reliable, that is. Yeah, we've got a lot of nuclear power plants around here. We will never run out of power. Okay, then let's see. And yeah, just a few more roads and then we can start adding regular zones to the city I yeah as you can see with the population there I will need to build up the population at least a little bit to get up to uh, metropolis there so yeah I'm just gonna leave the commercial zone there alone just make sure it can stick around and that's all 
How's the train still going? It doesn't have a rail to sit on. I don't know. But, uh, okay. Alright, so... I want to build a lot of residential zones around here. So, let's see what we got. Okay, one... Two... I want to make sure I'm making the correct amount. Okay, three, four... Then... Okay, five, six... I think we're good on this row. Yeah, that ought to be good enough. Okay, then... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... See, well, I made this one 12. Okay, then let's see 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Might as well extend the road. Actually, let's go all the way up to the fire department so we have a uh, what is it? A valid destination there for the residential zones. Okay, so 18. 19, 20, 21, and the reason why I'm placing these zones where I am is I'm trying to spread them out as much as I can while still being able to develop, actually. Okay, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So far, so good. And make sure we've got power going to everything. Including backups. Okay, then... Let's see, around here... Okay, 31, 32... 33. Let's see, I thought there was a couple more that I wanted to build around here. I wanted to get up to 35, I think. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Let's see. Okay, so we got the six. Yeah, yeah, that's all good there. Oh, I see. There's one. Yeah, I want to build a new residential zone there. And I'm just going to build one over here. But yeah, the thing is, you want to get rid of all of the schools and hospitals. Not because you can't get uh, any gifts out of holding on to them. But because, well, they'll be set on fire. And they don't provide anything of value to us. So might as well get rid of them as much as we can. So yeah, we need a lot of residential zones. Because, yeah, we don't have a lot of them relative to commercial and industrial zones. This count is not taking the new residential zones into account. Basically, I want to have slightly less than half of my zones being residential. That way, we won't have uh, any problems with unemployment around here. But I get the feeling the casinos can uh, more than get the job done. But can we survive an attack by the UFOs? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.